You've probably heard about a capacitor before because they are literally everywhere. They're in computers, defibrillators, rail guns, lasers, and even the clouds and the ground make up a giant capacitor. Capacitors can be thought of like a battery, but with two main important differences. Number one is instead of chemical energy, they store their energy in an electric field. And instead of a slow, steady discharge, capacitors can release all of their energy in a fraction of a second. This capacitor is rated at 1 100th of a joule of energy. Now this will hurt, but it won't do any damage. This is the capacitor that powers a camera's flash. It has 200 joules of energy, and it's enough to stop your heart's normal rhythm. And then there's this bad boy. It contains over a thousand joules of energy. It won't just stop your heart, it'll blow it to pieces. To show what happens if you accidentally touched this, let's drop a wiener on it. All right, three, two, one. All right, now let's try a watermelon. All right, I'm just gonna push this onto the watermelon and we'll see what happens. Unfortunately, that capacitor is not powerful enough to blow up a watermelon, but don't worry, I know some guys that can help. This is my friend Coit. He's the one that builds giant musical Tesla coils, and that's Brandon, the only one crazy enough to get shocked by him. They brought down some huge capacitors to help me with my watermelon problem. This capacitor was a thousand joules, but we built this capacitor bank and it's 20 times more powerful. It can hold 20,000 joules of energy. That's like shooting four 50 caliber sniper rifles at the exact same time. Put it over there where the burned patch of grass is. In the middle of you, I'm thinking we're gonna get one of these before someone, like oh. two and someone's calling the cops. <laughs> All right, so we got the capacitors set up and there's a lot going on up here, so let me show you what everything is. This is our battery pack and it's powering these two devices which make up our high voltage power supply. We're keeping track of the charge of the capacitors using this high voltage probe and that's sending information into this wireless Mushi multimeter so we don't have to be too close to this thing. All right guys, I'm Coit Beringer. I'm Kevin's electrical engineering friend, making sure he doesn't kill himself. So to discharge our big capacitor bank, we have rigged up this little thing. Boom. This contact snaps down, discharges through whatever we decide to blow up. There we go. go. Okay, connecting the positive lead now. Okay. See voltage? Yeah. Two kilovolts. That's 6,000. You're over 9,000. Over 9,000! <laughs> over 9,000! 12,000 volts. All right, guys, here's the main trigger. Three, two, one. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! Dude! That's perfect! Okay, that worked way better than we thought it would work, and that watermelon was completely destroyed. I mean, look at the inside of that watermelon. That is not what a normal watermelon should look like on the inside. Super mushy. Okay, watch out. No one touch it. Yeah, uh, get the discharge stick. Look yeah. at nice. Clear. Clear. All right, this is my friend Brandon. He came over to help also, and he had a pretty good idea. We're gonna put a stake on it to see what would happen if you touched it accidentally. Yeah, so we're just gonna plop it right on there, and oh my gosh. Dude, that's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> okay, let's try it. All right, give us a countdown. All right, three, two, one. Wow. I see. Okay, so my neighbors just, uh, they just yelled at me about the last one. They said they're gonna call the cops if we do it again, but I think it's worth it. And let's, yeah. let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. One. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. It blew a hole through the steak. You still want to cook that? Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's already partially cooked. It's a reverse sear. It's well done in the God, middle. We can charge like a lot of money for lightning cooked steak. That's, <laughs> that's what we saw on camera. That's crazy. That could be your hand. Hey guys. <laughs> so this was our uh, high voltage supply and all of the diodes got blown apart. All right, now it's my friend Coit's turn. Hey Coit, what are you blowing up today? Looks like I'm blowing up Easter. Uh Three, two, one. That was it? I guess that was all for you. Oh. 
Dude! <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, that said 7,000 still. Oh, what? it did? Yes. Thanks for telling us. <laughs> I, was, I said, that still says, and then you hit it with the stick. <laughs> oh, jeez. That was... Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh man! So you're gonna eat that, right? Yeah. Who wants some? Tastes like ash. Ha ha ha! So we didn't know the capacitors had an extra charge in them, and when he hit it, we were all really surprised. But it looked super cool, so we wanted to do it again and record it in high speed. Those aluminum sparks were super bright, and they hung around a lot longer than the little copper and steel sparks we had. And it looks really nice. They're like fireflies. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something. Today. Thank you to my friend Brandon and Coit for coming out today, and thank you for bringing the capacity. No problem. Yeah, so yeah. I'll, I'll do the rest later. Yeah. <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Yeah.